And that was EMA, EMA going out to Dave with a congratulations on your first wake up in space. Hey, good morning, Houston. The blue shift is up and awake and ready to work after that little bit of international flavor. Ready for our first full day in space. We're now receiving live video from inside one of the many experiments inside the Space Have Research Double Module. This experiment is called the Space Technology and Research Students Payload, which is comprised of six experiments that were set up by students from six different countries. The views are switching between some of the investigations inside this experiment. Students from Australia are hoping to examine how spider webs are produced as well as the mechanical properties of web filaments and microgravity. And students in China are studying the development of silkworm larvae, pupae, and adults as well as the production of silk and the cocoons that are spun. Students in Israel are examining the production and geometry of crystal fibers and microgravity in order to better, better understand their formation here on Earth. And students from Japan are examining the effects of microgravity on a closed aquatic ecosystem using Medaka fish embryos. Students from Liechtenstein are studying the behavior of carpenter bees in microgravity. And students from New York in the United States are studying an ant colony in microgravity. These are all part of the Space Technology and Research Students Payload, which is an international educational payload in which students from these six different countries developed biological experiments in order to promote an interest in scientific careers. And Columbia Houston for Mike, just for information, we have the good video down here, and we like what we see. Okay, if that's the case, then go ahead and open the meet next door. Sounds good. This is Mission Control Houston, Payload Commander Mike Anderson working through checkout procedures of the MEDEX experiment, the Mediterranean Israeli dust experiment inside Columbia's payload bay. Based on Park Columbia, putting arms ergometer set up in work. Okay, Dave, we copy. We know you can't wait to get on that bike. Now you can see the lid of the getaway special canister that MEDEX is located in opening up. Inside the lid, there's a coated quartz window that a video system can be used to look at the aerosol particles that may be one of the primary agents that can offset the climate warming induced by the increase in the amount of atmospheric greenhouse gases. The video of this experiment will be used to measure the small particles or aerosols in the atmosphere over the Mediterranean Sea and over the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of the Sahara Desert in Africa. Mission Specialist uh, Mike Anderson reporting uh, to the Shuttle Flight Control Room and the Payload Operations Center here in Houston Mission Control Center. That uh, data take is underway on the MEDEX experiment. The uh, look at the experiment to measure small particles or aerosols in the atmosphere over the uh, Sahara, the Mediterranean Sea, and uh, the Atlantic Ocean. We're seeing uh, some of this downlink on that data take on NASA television now. These uh, aerosols can have an impact on the Earth's climate. Uh, they can either uh, absorb or reflect sunlight. And understanding them better will help scientists uh, to uh, determine more accurate climate models. Well, at the end of our first observation, I would like to uh, say congratulations to the whole MEDEX science team. Uh, they've opened a, really a new chapter on the study of dust and aerosols, how they contribute to the Earth's climate, in particular global warming. And it's a big day for the Israeli science community, who've opened a new chapter, now participating in human spaceflight. And I'd like to add my personal congratulations uh, to Yoya, who's come a long ways to see this day. So congratulations uh, to Medex. 
Doc. We appreciate those great words. Thanks. Elementary Honors Choir with the beautiful Laura Husband as a featured member. Thank you very much, Scorch, and it's uh, really great to hear that music and also uh, know that uh, Laura was singing with the choir, and uh, it's uh, uh, really nice to be able to, uh, you know, have a nice reminder of our family, so I'd like to say hello to Laura and also to my son Matthew and my wife Evelyn, and we're having a great time up here, and we just appreciate all your support. Thank you very much. This is Mission Control Houston. We're back with live downlink from Columbia. This uh, shot shows Kutna Chavla, the mission specialist, working with the zeolite crystal growth experiment. She's uh, working with uh, samples uh, that uh, are being melted uh, and uh, processed in, an or in order to produce, uh, hopefully, more pure and more uniform zeolite crystals than can be grown on Earth. The process takes advantage of the microgravity of space. This experiment uh, seeks to produce uh, larger and more uniform zeolite crystals than uh, it's possible to uh, produce on Earth. Possible application of this technology would be in uh, catalysts for the oil and chemical industries, as well as uh, perhaps commercial film products. In this live downlink on NASA television, coming down for the scientists in the Payload Operations Control Center, is uh, from the FAST experiment, the Facility for Absorption and Surface Tension. It's a European Space Agency experiment, and it's designed to measure the response of surface tension uh, to control changes in the surface area of bubbles or droplets. The experiment's uh, designed to uh, be almost fully automated and uh, requires minimal crew time. Houston, Columbia, full door opening is uh, coming now. We copy. Commander Rick Husband reporting that the uh, door is being opened on the SOLSE experiment on the Freestar pallet. That pallet on the payload bay of the Space Shuttle Columbia. SOLSE is looking at a new instrument for measuring ozone in the uh, Earth's atmosphere. Once the door of that canister is open, the SOLSE experiment can begin taking his measurements of uh, atmospheric ozone.
You're looking at a live view of the mechanics of granular materials experiment in the space hab. This experiment being done by mission specialist Kalpna Chala. It involves a, a compression of sand crystals. Researchers hoping to better understand uh, why sandy soils sometimes uh, have a quality known as liquefaction and that they uh, behave much like a liquid during uh, earthquakes. Researchers are hoping that by uh, better understanding this liquefaction that sometimes occurs in sandy soils, they'll be able to uh, better design uh, buildings that will be sitting on top of these kinds of soils and prevent uh, damage that could occur during earthquakes. The grid lines you see will help the researchers better understand how the, uh, the sand is being compressed and also how it's deforming. Although this process is occurring very slowly, if you look at the grid lines, you can see that the deformation or deformation is beginning to occur as this uh, sand sample is uh, compressed. Again, this experiment being done by a mission specialist called Nachala in the Space Hab Research Double Module in Columbia's Payload Bay. You're looking at the Astroculture Growth Chamber. Also, you might hear the crew calling it the AST experiment. This is one of the commercial experiments being done by SpaceHab. In this particular experiment, they're looking at the impact of microgravity on uh, plant oil development using this plant growth chamber. The main objective is the development of both new cosmetics and food flavors for a commercial company. This company hoping to produce uh, new scents or fragrances using uh, these flowers. Flowers grown in space often have uh, different fragrances than they do here on Earth, and this enables research to literally uh, create scents that are uh, out of this world. You're looking at live video from one of the student experiments in the Space Hab Research Double Module. This particular experiment uh, from a school in the United States looking at uh, ants and how they behave in microgravity. You can see that the ants are actually uh, tunneling through a colored gel. This gel acts as a uh, tunneling medium for them and also provides food and water. We're currently cycling through uh, all the STARS experiments. There are six experiments as part of this payload from uh, six different countries. Australian students are doing an experiment with spiders. Israeli students are looking at uh, crystalline fibers. Some students from uh, Liechtenstein are looking at carpenter bees. And as we saw, the United States students are looking at ants. And students from China are looking at uh, silkworm larvae. And finally, some Japanese students looking at uh, small fish. The students designed these experiments and loaded them into uh, the Space Hab Research double module. They'll also get the results of the experiments and uh, do an analysis. We're continuing to cycle through the three different views of the mechanics of granular materials experiment in the Space Hab Research double module. You're looking at a sand column that's being uh, slowly compressed. If you look at the uh, grid marks, you can watch the uh, deformation that's occurring uh, as this uh, sand column is compressed. The sand in the column is uh, Ottawa sand, which is a uh, natural quartz sand with very fine grains. And this sand is uh, widely used in civil engineering experiments and evaluations. The Space Shuttle Columbia now flying over that portion of the Earth that's experiencing nighttime. We copy KC, MGM deactivation complete. Thanks so much. If you look at the bottom picture of the Earth, you can see flashes of a thunderstorm occurring. Also, that thin white line with a little bit of dark moving down toward the surface of the Earth is the Earth's atmosphere. And here's a better view of that, those flashes. One and I'm putting arms power down in work. We copy that, Laurel. Thanks so much for the status. This is an excellent view also of the uh, limb of the atmosphere, and it's through this limb that the uh, SOLS experiment has been making its ozone measurements. It looks at the uh, sun through the limb and is able to determine how much ozone is in the atmosphere, beginning with that uh, thin white line you see and moving toward the surface of the Earth. Great ride into space, and uh, 
the rest of the day was uh, super, and we've had a super day today, and we look forward to sending you some more of these highlights uh, throughout the mission. Thanks a bunch.